Hey guys, some breaking news for you guys. John MacArthur has dropped Alistair Begg from the Shepherds Conference that's coming up from March 6th to March 8th. Alistair Begg was one of the speakers, but he will no longer be one of the speakers. And this has come at the heels of Alistair Begg doubling down, tripling down of his stance, giving a grandmother a bad advice that it's okay for that particular grandmother to attend a trans wedding. The Shepherds Conference theme is truth triumphs. So there is no way that Alistair Begg will be able to stay. There's no way Alistair Begg will be able to attend this conference while the theme of the conference is truth triumphs. I do believe if Pastor Alistair Begg had just recanted, repented, that particular bad advice, it would have just been water under the bridge. But as you know, J. Mac don't play. <laughs> So uh, this is sad that it has come to this situation, but it's it's expected because um, Phil Johnson, who is uh, he's an elder at, uh, at John MacArthur's church, and he also made a comment during one of the conferences. Of course, he never mentioned Alistair Begg by his name, but he referenced what Alistair Begg had given uh, as an advice to the grandmother. Hopefully, Alistair Begg will see all this and reassess the situation and look at it again and repent it. So far, Alistair Begg has not repented and he has actually said it himself with his own mouth that there's no need for him to repent as it, uh, as it relates to this situation. Alistair Begg even said that if he was to do it again, he would still give the same advice. He did acknowledge that this advice is not for everybody. It's not for all Christians. It was just exclusive to that particular grandmother. Alistair Beck does not understand why people are up in arms of this situation. And he even called those people as Pharisees. And those people as fundamentalists. <laughs> That's what Alistair Beck has done regarding this situation which is very, very unfortunate. Continue to pray for Alistair Beck because there's nothing that God cannot do. Even in this situation, he can log and he'll be able to repent. I think what even made matters worse, Alistair Beck preached a message and uh, used an, uh, as an example the parables of Jesus, the, uh, the parable of the prodigal son, said that Jesus you know, sat down with sinners and using all those uh, texts of the scriptures, to support his advice. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to find anywhere in scripture where sin is excused. Something that God calls abomination is excused. None at all. There's no scripture that supports that. You're going to find stories of people who lied, but that doesn't mean we should be lying. It's just telling you stories. Just like um, when Abraham lied that Sarah was his sister. Sarah was not his sister. Sarah was his wife. Okay. So in the, in the scripture is just giving you a narrative, telling you the story of what happened. It's not an example for us to do those things. And even this example of Jesus sitting down with sinners. Jesus sitting down with sinners. It's not Jesus condoning their sin. And whenever Jesus did all these things, it was in the course of a natural law, okay? It's not sinful to sit down with somebody to eat. It's not a covenant, you sitting down with somebody to eat, okay? Going to a trans wedding, you are participating in that abomination. You are giving the approval, as Romans once said. So using Jesus as an example that he sat down with sinners, it's a false equivalence. And Alistair Begg used that. That was very disappointing. But I just wanted to break this news to you guys to let you know that, yes, John MacArthur has dropped Alistair Begg from the Shepherds Conference. Shepherds Conference is a Grace Community Church Conference. So Alistair Begg will no longer be speaking at the conference. They haven't updated their website. So on the website, when you go, you're still going to be able to see Alistair Begg as one of the speakers. So eventually they're going to update the website to reflect uh, the situation on the ground. So that's the news that I had for you guys today. I mean, it's to be expected that there is no way John MacArthur was going to let um, Alistair Begg speak at Shepherd's Conference, barring him not. Uh, if he had repented, everything would have been fine. But because he has doubled down and tripled down 
I think it's only right for Alistair Big to be dropped. That's unfortunate, but that's what has happened. All right, guys, I just wanted to break the news to you guys. That's all that I had for you guys today. Stay tuned, more coming this week. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you. Kai edition.